Hello, this is a quick video uh, <coughs> to talk about some of the uh, the DEV actor template uh, that comes with Messenger Library and uh, is what I use in actual code for uh, coding up any kind of event handling or message handling loop. Uh, so this is what we developed in the previous video just to show a couple of actors and how they talk to each other. And uh, uh, you can go look up that. What I want to talk about, how though, is uh, how this uh, this uh, template handles actions and messages. And it's kind of a little busy, so it's kind of hard to see. So what I've done is I have created some documentation VI, which sort of makes it simpler. So this is the kind of the way that this template handles things. First, uh, one. Common way, a common thing that happens is you want to handle an event like from control, and it's very simple. So the simple way of handling is you handle the event inside uh, your event structure. The event structure is first; it's registered for all the events. Uh, you can handle it directly, and the only thing when you handle it, the only thing that's important left over is the error. After that, if you look through all the structure, all that happens is error handling. Uh, the default error handling is just to notify anyone about the error, uh, but you can change it. Uh, so the simple method is just uh, event structure, error handling, event structure, error handling as the events come in. Uh, now a more complex action has these things called follow-on actions. Oops, let's make this slightly smaller. And with follow-on actions it's very much of a, a JKI style uh, where you can provide in your event structure, you can do what you want, but also you can pass out a string which line by line specifies what you want to happen next as part of this uh, handling this event. Uh, so it's JKI style, so I have action A, action B, I can do a, put it in a parameter, and it, these things will be handled uh, one by one. It's actually in a loop, but I've unrolled the loop to show you. So if I do action A and action B, I'll get action A and action B. And when I run out of actions, when the queue is empty, or the stack is empty, then I call in the uh, empty case of the case structure, the error handling. So again, these, these actions can go through one by one, and they go and they go. And uh, the thing to emphasize about this is, although this is JKI style uh, state uh, queue, as it were, really I emphasize this is like handling a stack, and there's no possibility of, well, basically basically the stack has to be handled completely before you get to error handling. So uh, there's no possibility of wrapping around, there's no event structure. There's the actor data, but the actual uh, queue of actions does not wrap around. It's completely handled with each event. So an event happens, it queues up, act it, sorry, stacks actions, the actions are handled, then there's error handling. Uh, note also if you use the JKI uh, template, the error handling is an event level. So the event happens, event handling is the last thing that happens after the event. In the JKI, the event, the error handling happens whenever there's an error in any one of the, the individual uh, sub actions. Uh, then finally, you have to handle messages from other actors. Uh, a message from another actor is basically an event. Uh, it's a user event that is configured in the startup. And when you handle it, you have to get a message, which is an object, and you read the label. Based on the label, you decide what to do. So in this case, I'm just doing action A. And again, at that point, it's just handled like any other event, possible sub-actions, and then error handling. Uh, the only thing you got to realize here is that there's a little more because what we have to do when we can receive a message, we have to reply to it. And reply is the last thing that happens. Uh, so we have two things that go through. One is the original message because we need that to reply to it. And the other thing is the reply we want to send. Uh, by default, the reply that is sent is basically a, uh, just an acknowledgement. It's got no information in it, but it's still a reply. Uh, so you can leave this as default unwired. And at the end, there'll be a message sent in reply. And note also the reply does nothing if there's no supplied message. So the original person who sent you the message must decide if they want to receive a reply or not. If they want to reply, they attach their own uh, address to get the reply back. And uh, if you don't want to have a basic acknowledgement, you can provide a writer message and, and supply it at any point in this chain. So you can write it right here attach it there. You could write it in action A and attach it there. Uh, also note that the error handling, if there's an error to the reply, that will send an error message. So reply will send this message if there's no error, and it'll send an error message if there's an error. So that means that if someone else sends you a message and uh, 
it introduces an error somewhere along, they are notified that there was an error. Okay, let's see. So it's a little harder to see in the structure because you have the event structure here and then you have a loop. And the loop goes through all your following actions and uh, basically it goes through and then when you get to the I've got nothing left, then there's my error handler. The default case is basically if this, this, uh, if this actor is running top level, which means you just started it by itself, it'll actually broadcast the message to you, the user. Uh, if not, it won't. It will always notify anyone who's registered to receive error messages. And this error message is also sent in reply. So anyway, that's the basic uh, way that the DEV template handles events. Thank you. Bye.